Hello awesome people, this is Swedish Meeple with another Pimp Your Board Game. This time we get to the game Zombicide Black Plague, so let's get started. We start off with the vault and actually I think the 3D printed vaults make it so much nicer to look at. The game uh, is a bit flat if you don't have anything 3D printed, so I, I really like these. Uh, I printed them in two colors and I just chose some colors. I don't have that many colors in PLA, but I like what I have done here. Uh, one little thing about these vaults is the cards, if you're going to put them, they don't really fit, but in the same time, it's very easy to pick up. That was the vault. And the next we're going to is the deck holders. And as you see, I have two of these, one for zombie cards and one for equipment cards. And here you can either have the deck here, open and discard over here, or whatever you like. Actually, really nice to have deck holders. Next up is the spawn pillars. And this one actually don't have anything to do with Zombicide or Black Plague, but I found them on Thingiverse and think they are really cool. I have printed a lot of them, so I won't run out in the game. And I have also uh, made some different colors for the Necromancer to come in the game. And actually I don't have green PLA, so I choose to have the blue one for the blue and the silver one for the green. But it works for me, I think they're nice. And if you check the next thing, I think we should check on these objectives, uh, the chests. And actually if we, you can't open them, but if you turn them around, there's the red X. And if you have more objectives around the map, and if you need to have different, I have one blue one and one silver one, who to, uh, I use for the green one. But I have a lot of, lot of these chests. And the next one is the model counter. I have a few ones of these. And what they do is that I can put the die in there and I can have six walkers. I can have five runners instead of just clogging up the game. I know it's nice to have a lot of zombies out there, but sometimes it's too much and they can be quite handy to have. And Next up for my 3D printing for Zombicide Black Plague is an action bar, action counter. You put up how many actions you have at the start of the game. And as you move along, you might move, you might search, you might move again, and then you're out of actions. Or if I have a free action, I usually use the blue one. And I have a few red ones over here when you really have uh, upgraded. So I made a few of these and actually on Thingiverse uh, they were much bigger than uh, what I made here. I scaled them down because my printer can't print so uh, big items. It's uh, maximum of 15 centimeters I think. So if I put them away uh, next up is a first player token as I found on Thingiverse. Um, nice to move around for the first player and some things I haven't made actually is these ones. The exit sign, the free action or the rotten apple. I will get around to make something for these. I'm not sure. I haven't found a perfect print for them yet. And I think the last thing we're going to talk about here is the walls. I have made 
a lot of these 3D walls and some of them uh, have an opening for a door. And I had to make something happen here because firstly I found a perfect uh, print online but I had to make them pointy so you can make the corners and I had to uh, take out this little bit so you can fit the door and when I started printing them they were a bit high so I changed my mind and started making them 30 millimeters high because if you are having them higher you can't see what's happen happening inside uh, the rooms uh, you can't see the zombies anything but when you're uh, having them 30 millimeters high you can see inside the room so i thought that was uh, a good decision it works for me and when you open a door you just put it sideways inside or you can put it outside in the street whatever you like so i think that's really cool and adds a 3d aspect to the map when you're playing and uh, yeah, the game looks so much better if you have any questions at all just leave a comment i try to get back to you as soon as i can and if you like what i'm doing please subscribe to the channel and press the thumbs up this was it for Zombicide Black Plague Pimp My Board Game, but I will get back to you soon with more videos. Hang tight, have a nice one people, bye!